Hi guys, hi everyone, it's Catherine Langman here again tuning in from Productpreneur Success HQ and here in our business our job is to help you guys to achieve a you know a, a, a competitive a competitive advantage if I can get my words out today in the marketplace. So today I, I was just inspired to jump on here and talk a little bit more about email marketing. I know I do talk about it a little bit, but I've had some clients achieving some really sensational results recently with their email marketing. And some of them are doing this with, uh, with newsletters, some of them are doing this with launch campaigns, and some of them are doing this with automation. And But what I really wanted to do is just talk a little bit about businesses who are uh, really succeeding with email marketing even when their email list is still quite small so how do we how do we go about achieving this and you know because it is a universal truth that you will find you, you know you might find this either frustrating or comforting <laughs> one or the other but everyone starts out in the same place we all start from the start line right in our business so when it comes to starting your own business from scratch you might be one of those people who you know seeks out and just voraciously devours all the information you can about building your business as quickly as you poss possibly can or you might choose to just focus on building up specific areas one at a time uh, before working on you know moving on to working on other parts of the, your business and, uh, you know, the truth is that the latter is usually what happens in new businesses and an area that tends to get left behind, in the beginning anyway, is building up a solid email list. Uh, and I, I do see this as a typical situation with um, product-based businesses, so whether you're e-commerce or whether you are um, wholesaling your brand. Anyhow, as a result, you know, you tend to find that many big businesses that only have, you know, big businesses or businesses that have been in business for some time um, only have a rather modest number of subscribers in their database. And that's fine, you know, if that's where you are right now. Um, but that gives you the opportunity to do something about it, right? So let's kind of talk a little bit about that today. So if you don't have thousands or even a thousand subscribers, please don't let it stop you from knocking out some killer email marketing campaigns, you know, because sending out the right ones does kind of put you at leaps and bounds ahead of your competitors. And the reason why I keep talking about this, you know, I know a lot of people, um, I, hear, I hear every now and again people saying, oh, but, you know, email marketing is dead. You know, people are being spammed all the time. Um, I send out an email newsletter and I just, hear absolute crickets it doesn't work um, and then you know there's there's all these other thoughts around why why your email campaigns might fail what should I write in them um, should I always put a discount offer should I include lots of articles in my newsletter what if nobody ever buys from my newsletter uh, and so on and so forth um, however the, the bottom line is that email marketing still accounts for approximately 23% of e-commerce sales. And so, you know, when you think about the fact that email marketing is virtually no cost, I mean, it does cost us a little bit to have uh, an email service provider and it takes a little bit of time to put our marketing together. But other than that, you know, it's very, very low cost. So... You know, our, but you know, how do we go about? Like, if we are at the starting line or very close to the starting line, how can we go about um, still succeeding with email marketing? So, because you can absolutely profit from a small email list or or from starting, you know, to build your email list. Uh, and so let, let's talk about how to go about that. So if you're starting from the starting line, the first thing you, you absolutely have to do is start collecting emails, okay? And so the first thing that um, you need to do there is to have your 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 email opt-in, so some kind of a opt-in enticement to get people subscribing to your list. And then the most important thing there is to have your new subscriber email sequence. So you need to have that first email sequence in place that is designed to convert a new subscriber into a customer. So this is a series of emails that just automatically goes out to your new subscribers and, uh, you know, with the intent of, obviously, of trying to get that first purchase from a new subscriber. Uh, and additionally, to try and help convert your, your new um, first 
sale from a new customer is your abandoned cart sequence. Um, you know, having abandoned carts is a very big uh, problem in e-commerce and it's very common. So you need to try and mitigate that by, or, you know, try and convert more of those cart abandons into actual orders. And an email sequence there uh, has been proven to help enormously. In fact, uh, you are destined to pick up at least 10% of those abandoned carts and convert those into sales if you put that email sequence into place. And then once you actually have uh, someone in buying the first time, it's a good idea to um, have an automated post-purchase sequence that is designed to uh, make sure that those new customers are really happy with your stuff because a happy customer is going to re refer their friends and an unhappy customer is going to tell 10 friends not to come and buy from you. So the post-purchase sequence um, makes sure, make sure that they're really happy with their purchase, try and get a, a testimonial from them and then uh, send them a cross-sell or upsell offer. So that's designed to, you know, obviously turn a one-time buyer into a repeat buyer, uh, which automatically makes that customer more um, profitable to you. But having these things automated, so especially that new subscriber sequence automated, means that you are focusing on building that email list up and the more emails you have in your database, the more money you will be making. Uh, that goes without saying. Um, Lenny, yes, the subscriber emails is something that can be outsourced and you may speak to me if you would like some help with that. We do provide that service for clients uh, in, here in our business. So just send me a message or if you've got, I think you've got my email address, so send me an email if you like. Um, and yeah, absolutely, if anybody would like some help with putting these emails into place, just um, please do get into touch, in touch with me. We, we work with uh, product-based businesses only, so that's our area of speciality. Um, and yes, Lenny, this is a one-time setup. So when we're talking about these kind of uh, automated sequences, like your new subscriber sequence, you set them up once and then that's it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, obviously there are other avenues of email marketing such as newsletter marketing and um, product launches. And so once you do start building some numbers into your email newsletter list uh, or your email subscriber list, it is a good idea to keep in touch with them. You don't want to be um, ne neglecting that list. You want to stay in touch with that list so that they, you know, you are top of mind when they do consider or are considering buying something that you sell. So you want to have the regular email newsletters going out. And I will say that the clients of mine who are doing regular email newsletters uh, in addition to other forms of marketing, whether it's Facebook ads or uh, something else, the, the ones that are sending the regular email newsletters are the ones that are making the most money. Um, so that that's a fantastic way to, um, and you know, I know it can be a little um, hard to come up with what goes into those emails regularly, but the, it is the consistency that matters here, uh, in addition, obviously, to the content and the offers and that sort of thing, but consistency is really key. And then the other style of email marketing that I'm seeing some of my clients have amazing success with is with uh, launch campaigns or big promotional campaigns. So uh, a launch campaign would be where you're using email to uh, launch a brand new product to your list and a big promotion would be something like um, you know, maybe end of financial year clearance sale or a Christmas promotion or Black Friday uh, promotion, that sort of thing. So they would be big campaigns. And so, yeah, I've got clients who are, you know, just have a few hundred people on their email list and they're using that style of launch or campaign email marketing to enormous success and uh, they are really smashing some big goals. So there's a few ideas for you around how you can still profit from email marketing even if you are at the starting line or you have a small email list. Now to kind of help you get started in the right way, I'm going to pop a link um, in the post above this video when it's when it posts to my post to the page. Uh, I'll pop a link there so that you can download my free guide to getting that new subscriber sequence email campaign in place. So you can download that and use that for yourself. 
or of course if copywriting and tech setup isn't your thing absolutely shoot me an email and I'll be happy to take that off your hands for you <laughs> Lenny I wasn't anticipated promoting myself in that way on this video but you've motivated me to do so today um, anyway that's what I have for you today I'd love to hear your comments uh, if you are successfully using email or if you are in the reverse camp and you are trying to send the odd newsletter and finding you're either only having success with a discount or you just have no success at all or you know let me know where you're at in the whole email marketing spectrum because there are lots of different um, Oh, you know, places where you can be and options that you can be uh, employing in your business. So, <laughs> Lenny, that's okay. You, you've got other skills in your business. Email marketing isn't your thing and that's fine. Um, you've, you've better, better use of your time to do the things you're good at, I reckon. Um, so I'll leave you with that today and have a fantastic week and I will look forward to catching up with you all next week. Bye for now.